My old friend Michael Harrison was telling me about this extraordinary project that he was involved with that is over at podjockey.com. It's a video podcast, and it's it's called At Home in the Cosmos with Annie Drian. And uh, Annie Drian is the uh, is uh, an American author, media producer, co-author of the Cosmos series and and book with her late husband Carl Sagan. And the star, I guess, is the the right word of this uh, of this new video podcast that you can find over at podjockey.com called "At Home in the Cosmos" with Annie Drian. And Annie Drian is on the line with us. Annie, and welcome to the program. Thanks, Tom. I'm so glad to be with you. I'm an admirer of yours, and I I think of you as a voice of reason. Oh well, thank you. That's that's so kind to hear. I'm and 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 uh, I'm. Now I'm, I'm I, I, it just blew me away. Um, okay, your brain waves are floating through outer space. Yes. Um, t- t- a thousand million years from now. I mean, for, just kind of wrap our heads around that. A thousand million years from now, somebody may be noticing Annie Drian's brain waves. Tell us about that. Well, I had the great good fortune to be part of the Voyager Interstellar Message, which was a project, uh, a NASA project to create golden phonograph records that were affixed to each of the two Voyager spacecraft. And Carl Sagan and Frank Drake were the the leaders of this project, and they turned to me and said, you know, we want to put music, pictures, sounds, what would you put on it? And um, among all of the beautiful music uh, and 118 images and greetings from the humpback whales and a mother's first words to her newborn baby, a kiss, mm-hmm. are my brainwaves. Your brainwaves. I think it's just absolutely marvelous. Um, I understand the in, the, in this in this uh, series, which people can find over at podjockey.com, yes. right. this uh, video podcast at home in the cosmos with Andy, Annie Drian. And this is the only place I think it can be found is at podjockey.com. That right. you... Uh, there are a couple things here I want to talk to you about in the just maybe three minutes we have left here. I'm sorry. Um, w- the first is that the Dalai Lama said something to you and Carl Sagan that was about Buddhism that was pretty shocking. Yes, it was that what he wanted for his people was science. He didn't want to be confirmed in any delusions, but to use science, this great error-correcting mechanism, to get at what is true. And you asked him, what if science contradicted Buddhist doctrine or theology? And he said... He said, fine, if, that's, if it turns out that it's not true, we don't want to believe it. And Carl said, really? Even if it meant that you would have to give up a central tenet of Buddhism, for instance, the notion of reincarnation? Hmm. And he laughed, and he said, of course we'd give it up. We don't want to be deluded. And then he laughed again, and he said, but you have to admit, it would be very difficult to disprove the concept of reincarnation. <laughs> there you go. And um, this is one of many, many, 39 stories yeah. at, at Home in the Cosmos yes. with Annie Drian. And what it is, is Michael Harrison's brilliant idea to create a visit to my home, mm. to Carl Sagan's archives, never before filmed, and uh, kind of 39 stories about what it was like to share my life with one of the greatest minds and hearts of the 20th century. Yeah, and it's available over at podjockey.com. That's right. Um, tell me about your association with Normal and, and, and Pod been... and, and Carl and Rock and Roll and Chuck Berry. And... <laughs> well, but... I'm, you know, figure it out. I'm a kid of the 60s, uh-huh. and I've worked for Normal for nearly 20 years and been president of its advisory board for some time. Normal, I should say, is the National Organization for the right. Reform of Marijuana Laws. Yes, exactly. And you know, when I started this work, I thought that sanity was just around the corner, yeah. and any minute we would straighten ourselves out and stop, you know, wasting all our resources and money on persecuting people or doing something that's harmless. But um, it's still just beyond our grasp, but I think we are inching closer to a more sane drug policy. Yeah, well, that's, that's a, a, a fine thing. Um, the creation of Cosmos, this extraordinary TV series and book. You you were one of the co-writers of this. You and your husband, uh, the late Carl Sagan, um, produced this. He starred in it. I used to watch it. Um, how, how did this you know? How did this come about? What what was the 
What was the essence of this from your point of view, Annie? We're talking with Annie Drian. Which, um, I mean, very briefly, because I know you have, sure. we have little time, but the idea was that the revelations of the modern scientific re- revolution, these insights are more soaring, more uplifting. They reveal a universe far grander than the wildest dreams of our ancestors. And so our dream of cosmos was to convey this to the broadest possible global audience with the idea that if we could communicate the values of science, mm. no arguments from authority, the, the values of science that are exactly the same in many ways as the values of those who aspire to a democratic society, that it would create a sea change in the way people think. And um, now that it's been seen by about a billion people worldwide, wow. continues to really tear it up on iTunes and Hulu and everywhere it is. Uh-huh. Um, I think there was some merit to that argument. We're talking with Annie Drian. She is the American author, media producer, co-author of Cosmos series and book with her late husband, Carl Sagan. Podjockey.com, At Home in the Cosmos with Annie Drian is the series. It's a it's a, a video podcast. You can find it over at podjockey.com. It's 39 stories out of her life that are just absolutely extraordinary. Uh, Annie, I, I'll, I'll bet you miss him. I want you to know that that we all miss him. And I'm curious about your thoughts in the 20 seconds we have uh-huh. left here of the Dalai Lama's comment about reincarnation or perhaps the, the ongoing existence of perhaps his intelligence, his uh, Carl spirit. Sagan died, and I believe that the thing about life that is so sweet is that it will not come again. Mm-hmm. We lived our time together. He lived his life more fully than anyone I've ever known. Yeah. And that, to me, is more than enough. That Very well said. Very well said. Annie, thank you so much for being What a pleasure. And podjockey.com, the website uh, for this extraordinary piece, At Home in the Cosmos with Annie Drian. Get over there, check it out. And Annie, th- thanks again for being with us. It was my pleasure, Tom.